Today we have the Byberry 31-in-1 multi-tool, and this is a really cool tool right now on Amazon for only around $42. And that is a Cyber Monday sale, so keep that in mind, and you may want to pick this up today. Now, there are a couple things that I really like about the Byberry as opposed to the DL30, which it really closely resembles. So let's go ahead and jump into its tool set. Right off, you see that's got this massive plier handle, very similar to the Leatherman Surge. And one of the things that they advertise very heavily is that you get tungsten cutters, YG10, I think they call it. And then you do also get replaceable cutters as well. So these are pretty cool looking. Let's go ahead and do just a very quick test on some coat hanger wire. And so there we go. And it seems to cut fairly well. I don't see any issues with the wire cutters at this moment. They seem to have held up. So this is at the moment uh, a pretty good option, I think, in the budget heavy duty market. Now, on the handles, what you get are some ruler markings as well. So I think I had forgotten on the DL30 that they had these, but they were able to slip these in and they can come in handy in a pinch. Let's go ahead and look at the outside tools. So you've got a serrated blade. You do have the T-shank adapter, which is that's huge for a lot of people. You have the outside scissors and then the knife. So these are all the large tools. So again, the two knives will go ahead and close. Then let's talk about the scissors. Now, one of the things I noticed was someone said, this is a very poor tool in the reviews about this because the scissors don't lock. Well, fairly common with this is that you have to push them back and engage the lock. And I feel like a lot of people still struggle with that and they don't realize on multi-tools that's a fairly common thing that you need to do. So a lot of multi-tools are designed that way. All right, so with this, it seems to have no issue with paracord, seems to cut very well. So sometimes when they coat these tools in black, it seems like they perform a little bit worse but this one seems to do very well. So that's good to know. And then you do have, again, this T-shank adapter. And with the T-shank adapter, you get the file that comes standard. Then you do also get these two saw blades that you can put in there as well. Now keep in mind, this is a thinner T-shank adapter than the Leatherman Surge. So you would have to modify the Leatherman Surge a fair amount, really thin it out. And then you would still have to make sure there is room in here to fit the implements, the files from the Leatherman Surge. So at this point, I don't know of any replacement files other than buying a whole new tool where you can get replacement files for the Byberry or the DL30 for that matter. So again, keep that in mind. Perhaps you can mod the Leatherman to fit, but I'm not sure if you can. I haven't tried that yet. And a lot of people ask that question. So, all right, now let's talk about the handles. Now, this I think is one of the biggest upgrades. I really like the two-tone color, the silver and the black, but I do think this handle is a fairly nice upgrade over the DL30. So this is the, the gold, almost like brass color DL30. So that was pretty cool. And this is the normal one that I put the pocket clip on from um, the, the uh, cell phone pocket clip. And this right here from Night Eyes, you have fairly large skeletonized openings, but I really like these small slotted openings that the Byberry has designed. So Byberry does have just essentially the same version as this, but this is their new frame. And I think that's pretty cool. And I do think it takes a lot of inspiration from the Leatherman Signal. So I can definitely see a lot of, a lot of inspiration, I guess is a nice way to put it, but probably a lot of copying from that as well. But it, it did turn out nicer in my opinion. 
all right so let's go ahead and look at the inner tool set let's look at this side first now on this side all you have is the quarter inch bit this will be a double-sided bit with the ball detent so to use normal quarter inch bits a lot of people want to do that you will have to find like a magnet or two to fit down in here and then it will increase it will lower the height that you need for the quarter inch bit to fit in there so again i think those magnets are like six millimeter or something like that they're very small you can usually uh, find them fairly easily on amazon so they're they're like this right here and then they fit right down in there and then I think some people will super glue them in, but whatever you prefer. All right, so again, this is one of the DL30's huge strengths is the quarter inch driver. Some people have said, well, it was just a cost cutting measure. Maybe it was, but I still prefer it way more than uh, the Leatherman proprietary bit. And then on this side, what we have is we've got our all, we've got a very nice large screwdriver, which can almost I think perhaps turn into a pry tool again you'd have to be a little careful with that but it is very large got your smaller uh, straight edge uh, flat screwdriver and then you do have a lane or no this is actually yeah and then you have this three in one tool which is your bottle cap lifter and your can opener and your wire stripper as well now that wire notch a lot of people will not be too big a fan of perhaps a lot of people like the triangle notch of Leatherman but I still think it can get some wire stripping done just perhaps not to as large a caliber or gauge of wire so overall the Byberry is just a fantastic design now we have it completely looked at everything we've got a pouch right here I do like that this is your easy on easy off pouch right here you can take that on and off you do have the pocket in the front sort of like the kangaroo pouch for these bits that come with it so you get a fairly nice bit kit as well that complements the tool you do get these extra saw blades for the t-shank you get the extra wire cutters as well and then again this is what byberry has put in here as all the different all the different options for their tool and I think we've gone over all these right here but uh, this is what they list on the back right here now as far as metal I don't think I really see where they tell about what this is made of so here we go this is actually it so the main material is 3CR13 knife material is 7CR17 so I think perhaps I I can't remember exactly but I think perhaps the day camping is listed as 2CR for the handle material and this is perhaps listed as well it is listed as 3CR so this perhaps is a little bit of an upgraded metal again keep that in mind I think I'd have to look again on AliExpress, but I think it is a tiny bit better quality than perhaps the, the uh, DL30. All right, I hope this has been helpful to you. Let me know what you think about this tool. Are you a fan of this new handle design and the two-tone collar? I'd love to know.